But yeah, it's weird. It's weird that Metroid Prime never caught on as much as other games did. I've talked about him before, Mr. Uh, Mr. Andrew Dobson. But the reason I bring him up is because he represents a type of... Uh, I wouldn't even call him a Metroid fan, because he's, me he's not a proper Metroid fan. He's the kind of guy who thinks Other M is a good Metroid game, which to me... As, as someone who isn't a full-blown Metroid fan, I say I'm not a full-blown Metroid fan as I'm literally, literally dressed up as Zero Suit Samus, but I'm not a diehard fan. Honestly, I, it's because I respect it so much that I don't call myself a true fan. Because, like, I didn't grow up with it. I, I never played the NES games. I've only played a little bit of Super Metroid. Um, so I kind of refuse to call myself a diehard Metroid fan. I just, like, I love the Prime games. Because I'm an FPS fan. And I know, like, he... It, it, Dobson kind of represents this the uh, the type of people who do not like the Prime games so I always think of him he's my go-to example for uh, people who are just like who just do not like FPS games um, I don't even know why I brought him up he's so fascinating I, I love learning about him I don't know how to describe it like just this pettiness this hostility towards anyone who tries to interact with him. Um, I've said it before in, in an older Metroid stream, no less. I find it funny how whenever I play a Metroid stream, I inevitably talk about Andrew Dobson. But I find him so fascinating. I find him fascinating because, like, he's not a Chris Chan to me. He, he is just a normal person. Like, I, I genuinely don't think he has anything, like, wrong with him, like, mentally. I just think he genu he just has a personality disorder. And so he's my go-to for when I talk about how, like, there are some people who do not like the Prime games, and he's one of them. He, but he seems like one of those who just doesn't like something because it's popular. Um, and he always has the worst takes. Like, he always likes the worst stuff. Like, he likes the new Star Wars movies. Again, he likes all the other M. But, yeah, he's just a fascinating individual. So whenever I think of people who don't like Metroid, or Metroid Prime, I always think of him. He's my go-to. Uh, which is actually really unfair to the people who do not like Metroid, because I'm sure... I'm sure they're, like, obviously some of them are way more legitimate than uh, Dobson. But I don't know. I, I just like bringing him up. Because I haven't talked about him in months. And uh, I think it's... I think we're overdue for a little bit of uh, Andrew Dobson chat. One thing I love about Dobson is that he... Uh, he pretended to be... <laughs> He pretended to be a teenage girl um, when he started his... I think it was... He started on DeviantArt? And he just... He LARPed as a teenage girl, even though he was... I believe at the time he was, like, late 20s. Definitely 30s. He was de he was definitely 30 by the time he was pretending to be... Because he drew, like... I don't even want to talk about that part of his his history. The, the shit that he drew. Um, I think he just thought that if people thought he was... A teenage girl that his drawings would be would be less creepy i think that was the logic behind it I'm trying to think of other funny andrew dobson stuff because he i i highly highly recommend everyone visit the uh andrew dobson hypocrisy uh tumblr it was like i think i visited it like one day and i spent the entire day just reading reading about andrew dobson because he's so fascinating um and I, I highly recommend it. It's a, a worth your read. I'm trying to think of other stuff he's done. Like he's done a multiple webcam web comics. I think that's the this the thing is people hate him the most for is he does these like political web comics that are just awful. Political web comics are bad enough. His are straight up just like straw manning, not making sense, just completely missing the point, and then trying to throw everybody under the bus. Like he's such. He's such a, he is the example of what it is to be a toxic um, artist. I think any any real artists, any people out there who want to get into, you know, either drawing or doing like an online, starting their own online sort of art page, need to know what Dobson has done. So they don't make the same mistakes as him. They don't, he's like such a vindictive, hateful person. Like everybody needs to know. Everybody needs to know what not to be before they end up like Dobson. But yeah, the, I think that was my that was my favorite post I ever saw ever saw is people talking about Dobson and someone posted how like the reason we're all fascinated with him is because like he is like the gorilla like he is he is what we would be 
you know, had we not, like, had we just given in to, like, our spiteful urges. Like, because I do understand what it is to be, like, antisocial, um, introverted, and then even hit to hate stuff that's just because it's popular. Like, I understand that. But Dobson is, like, the ultimate, he's the pinnacle, he's the focus point of what could happen if you just let that get out of control. Like that, you end up with a Dobson. Um, which is why I think we find him so fascinating. We see a little bit of ourselves in Andrew Dobson, which I find very interesting. Um, where was I? Oh, Dobson. Um, someone posted one of his comics to Twitter, unironically, thinking that they were making a good point. And the uh, the entire thread is people making fun of them because they posted a Dobson. They posted a Dobson comic unironically, like without the joke. I kind of, I like, I kind of, I kind of genuinely feel bad for them. But yeah, it's weird. It's, it was weird. That was like, it was so weird to see a Dobson comic in the wild again. Um, I guess some people just don't know. Don't, they don't quite know that Dobson is not a respected artist. He's not even respected by the people that used to like him. Everybody hates him. And, I, and the reason everybody hates him is because he's weird. He's done really weird, creepy stuff to other people. I guess people are fascinated by him. I know I am. I love learning about him. He, it's just he's so fascinating. And he represents a, an era of the internet that uh, I love. And I'll be honest, a lot, of it, a lot of it is nostalgia. I love that era of the internet. I love that era of weirdos and artists. Like, and it was the Wild West. It was, that was genuinely, like, the Wild West, and I love it. I love that era. So to me, like, seeing Dops, old Dops and stuff, it just reminds me of that era. I always love, because he's been around long enough where he was one of the people dunking on the prequels in for the Star Wars prequels. And then he did a complete 180, and now he's a Star Wars defender. He's, like, one of those people who are, like... He, he tried to, like, sit on his high horse and be, like... You know, you guys are so abusive to George Lucas. You are all man chill. You're, you're man babies yelling and screaming about Star Wars when you can go. His comics are old enough where you can go back and see him doing the exact same thing unironically. Um, but with the prequels, like, I love that. I love that era of the Internet, that era of like weirdos on DeviantArt and Tumblr. Like, it's just I love it. I love that era. That small window of time when the internet was still just a wasteland. <laughs> uh, it was funny. It was funny seeing someone think Dobson wouldn't... <laughs> posting a Dobson comic wouldn't, wouldn't get them made fun of. Uh, I like how all my Metroid streams devolve into Dobson rants, but... They really do, don't they? I wish he still made stuff, I'll be honest. Uh... I wish he still had weird hot takes. Actually, you know what? I don't think I would. I, I think what I like about Dobson is that he's... Because his his hot takes are from that era in time. Like, he is from a different era. And he's, like, stuck in that era, too, which is what's funny. The way he acts is it's very, like... It's very much like he hasn't quite grown up. And I'm wondering if there's a reason for that. There's some interesting stuff about him. Like, the big one that's obvious is, like, he's a nerd. Yeah, like that's obvious. Like you, you can't really argue argue that. Um, but he hates like nerdy stuff. Like he hates Star Trek. He hates. Um, he famously has like these hot takes where he talks about how much he hates anime, even though his art style is literally ripping off certain mangas and stuff. Like it's like we know what he's doing. We know he's just trying to pretend to be like I'm not one of those nerds, one of those weirdo nerds, even though he just he is. There's no like there's nothing wrong with being a nerd once you start trying to act once you start trying to hide that once you start trying to like pretend to be someone you aren't then it gets embarrassing I think Dobson sees himself as like he sees himself as like a misunderstood artist I genuinely think he's, he sees himself as like this high and mighty person who people people don't understand and they don't respect they don't respect his artistic vision. Um, at least that's that's the vibe he gives off to me. Because I've... Everyone knows Adopton. Everyone knows someone who uh, kind of acts like that. 
Although I think Dobson, and that's another thing with Dobson, and I love how I can already tell this is going to be another uh, Dobson clip because I've talked about him at length before. That's the big thing I love about him is that he is not a... Uh, he's not a Christian. He's not someone... He's not the type of low, low cow that you feel bad for. People have talked about like whether or not they think Dobson is like is capable of knowing what he's doing. I think he does. I give him I give him more credit than other people do, <laughs> which is kind of ironic. Um, I, I do give him credit. I don't think he, I don't think there's anything wrong with him like mentally. Even. I think he's he's a normal guy who just is vindictive and a jerk to everybody. He I think he knows like he's he no, I. I don't think he quite knows what he's doing, but I, I don't think he is. I don't think there's anything wrong with him mentally. I think he is just genuinely that kind of person. Yeah, I, I give him more credit than other people do, but it's still not good. <laughs> it's the kind of credit that you don't want. I'll say this now that the Chris Chan drama has kind of subsided. I never cared much for Chris Chan. I never, I never thought what people were doing to him was funny. Even when, like, when early knowing about it. I always thought like, yeah, like he's interesting, but at the end of the day, you're just making fun of someone who doesn't know better. Like you're not, this isn't as, the joke lost its funny. Uh, but it's the complete opposite for Dobson. Cause he is, he, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I think he just, he just has a hostile personality. And that's what I find so unique and fascinating about him. He's such an interesting character. The, the reason why we're so fascinated by him, and this is the hard truth, and I'll fully admit this, is we see ourselves in, in him. We can see, I can see how easy it is to become someone like Dobson. To just embrace like the, just the, uh, the hateful part of your personality, to just embrace that. And like, I don't know, to just be vindictive and hostile. And then specifically to push away people who are like trying to reach out and are trying to I like, genuinely make friendships with you. That's the most fascinating thing to learn about him is how he, in the past, he has just pushed away so many people. Which, in fairness, I guess, if if we if he is to believe, he spent basically his entire life getting bullied. Um. Although it's from the sounds of it, it seems like it wasn't even that wasn't even the case. I like to believe that Dobson was never as bullied as he claimed. I think, specifically coming from me, because this is this is a. I was a kid who was bullied, so I know I know what happens to somebody when you go through that type of stuff. Dobson didn't. The way Dobson behaves, he did not go through that, or or at the very least, he's exaggerating how much of it he actually experienced that type of trauma. Which I just so I do I just don't believe him. I I think what I like to think is he has had he, people have approached him genuinely, and he simply interpreted that as them mocking him or bullying him famous example was a guy who uh tried to chat with him in college literally just what could have been a, f a friend that he met Thompson immediately like shooed away and disliked and hated of course who knows how genuine the uh, the anon who wrote the post was who knows i don't know i like to believe that he's probably just pushed away a lot of his uh friends friends and family and he doesn't real I think I don't think he realizes that. I think he genuinely thinks that everyone's out to get him, and I, just because his, his personality, the, seeing the way he interacts with people, like it's not just hearsay with how he acts. We've seen how he acts. We've seen how he interacts with people. I think he just genuinely uh, despises people, whether or not he realizes it. I think honestly, I'm projecting myself into him because you know. If I was realizing that I was pushing people away, I would step up my act and stop doing that. But that's that's me. I don't know if Dobson actually even cares. So maybe he does know, and he just... To him, it's just not an issue. I don't draw, but I do make... I make videos, I stream, and I interact with the community. So as someone who does that, I always think of Dobson. So I know what can happen when you aren't when you aren't able to maintain that. I think every content creator needs to look at Dobson at, at some point in their life. This is what they can become if they don't uh, manage themselves well. I've seen, and I've seen it. 
I never, I'm never gonna say names. I'm never gonna try to stir up drama, but I've seen people completely miss that, completely miss. They miss the idea that you're supposed to be humble, that you're not supposed to be egotistical. You're not, you're not supposed to think that you're, you're the shit. Like you're, you're not supposed to think you're hot shit. Because guess what? If you think that, chances are you're not. Again, look at Dobson. Look at the way he's interacted with people. He, th he sees himself as a underappreciated artist, an artist who hasn't been given his fair, his uh, fair share. The way he's been pretty, like he just acts spiteful and hateful. He talks about how he never, uh, he never. No, he talked about his roommate. His roommate became, I think, a straight up like a Disney animator. I forget the guy's name, but people looked him up, and apparently it was legit. Dobson roomed with a guy who became a professional animator. And I think Dobson's talked about that. I think he's talked about how hateful he is towards that. I love learning about that. I love learning stuff that kind of hints at what's going on in his brain. Anyway, I gotta be quiet. We have a moth cutscene. <laughs>